Seaborn is another popular visualization library similar to matplotlib that is used heavily in the field of data science. With this video we are starting a complete Seaborn tutorial series and I want to say thanks to Vedant who is not only an accomplished and smart programmer, he is also managing our Discord server for Code Basics community. He has helped me in producing this series. I have reviewed the content and we both have put this thing together which you all will find it useful. Let's get started. Hello everyone. In this video, I will be introducing you to the Seabone library and in the end, we'll also see how you can install and set up Seabone in your environment. Have you ever wondered why it takes so many lines of code to make a decent histogram in Matplotlib? Then, Seabone is the right visualization library for your projects. Now let us look at some of the features of Seabone. Seabone allows the creation of attractive statistical plots with these. These makes our plot look nice and beautiful. Here's an example of one plot made in Seabone. Seabone also has a wide range of palettes and inbuilt themes like the winter palette here and the spring palette which can be imported very easily in our projects. It also makes the creation of custom palettes in our projects very easy. The most important feature of Seabone which makes it favorable in front of matplotlib is that plotting of regression models in Seabone is automatic and very very easy. You can plot regression models easily using the rec plot function in Seabone. If matplotlib tries to make easy things easy and hard things possible, then Seabone tries to make a well-defined set of hard things easy too. Now let us look at some shortcomings of matplotlib. Matplotlib has a limited number of themes and palettes and the default settings for these themes and palettes is not ideal. For example, many of the plots don't have grid lines. In short, Seabone makes it very easy to get to know your data fast and very efficiently. Now let us move on to the installation and setup of the Seabone library. To install the Seabone library in your system, you would need the following dependencies pre-installed. The dependencies are NumPy, SkyPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. Stats model is recommended but not mandatory. You can install Seabone in your system using the pip environment or the conda environment. To install Seabone in the pip environment, you can use pip install Seabone. And to install Seabone in your anaconda environment, you can use this line of code. Since I've already installed Seabone in my system, I'm going to import it here. I have given SNS as the alias name, but you can give whatever you want. To check the version of Seabone, you can type this. The version of Seabone in my system is 0.10.1. This is all for this video. In the next video, we will be learning about bar plots in Seabone.